Hey guys, Melissa here. Um, today I'm going to show you guys what I found in Hobby Lobby. Um, I did check them out to see if there was any more um, new things on clearance. But um, before I show you guys what I've got, I do want to show you what I've been working on. I've been working on like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And my desk is like a complete mess. Just to film this video, I have to like push everything off to the side. But um, I've been working on a few projects, just stopping and going, but um, if you guys seen my last video, you probably seen this in the background. I'm like, I probably should have showed you guys what I was working on. This is the um, Scrap Diva Designs purse die, and um, this is one of the items I got on clearance through Hobby Lobby, and I got two of these little, um, what are these, like the bull cow heads, but I thought it was, was a super cute little um, centerpiece for um, the purse, and this fur also um, is from Hobby Lobby. I added um, some leather, faux leather from Hobby Lobby to um, the purse. Um, I still need to have the strap and stuff right here. Um, but as you can see um, where I cut it, you can it left uh, that matting underneath. So I do want to find like uh, the perfect trim to go around and mask that. I need, to, I need to find something. See, that's ugly. But yeah, I have to go um, in my stash and find something. I know I have like thinner, um, like a leather trim. So I need to find that and see if that would work. So I think this is tr turning out super cute and I do want to make like a little matching wallet for that. And I keep on forgetting to show you guys uh, Scrap Diva Designs has that new, um, I think it's called the Heart Bow. You guys already seen uh, my little cow ones, but I did make some little bumblebee ones because I had a, a little square of this bumblebee um, paper. So I decided to make um, some bumblebee bows and these little cabochons, these sunflower cabochons are from the Happy Crafter Shop. Super cute. And I think because um, since they're all white, I think I want to paint some of these to um, add some color to them. And then um, I did play around with those bingo cards from my Creative World Design. Am I saying that? Not my creative. My Crafting World Designs. Yeah, my Crafting World Designs. And here is the first one I made. Added a little bow inside the shaker instead of the end right there. And then I had to do a Vegas theme one because it's enough letters to cover the bingo word. And um, I added peppermints in there to look like um, poker chips. Added some cards, some playing cards right here in the, in the top section. Um, this little acrylic piece, it looks like a poker chip, so, um, and this is from, uh, the Happy Crafter Shop, which I love. I already knew that I wanted to make this, um, into a poker chip when I got it, and I believe this was, like, part of her Valentine's Day kit, and I think she probably still has some in her shop, but, um, I'm making this into, a, a mini album, actually. Let me grab it. So I have this little album right here. And this will be the cover to my album. And I was thinking about, uh, speaking of, okay, so here are my little pictures that I printed out. Just some, so like, you guys didn't see my story on Instagram. We want some money the casino but um, us at the hockey game we like to go to the Golden Knights games and then out and about um, downtown me and my husband but the quality of those photos um, I don't know if you could tell but in real life they suck but they kind of look all right in these um, from where I'm standing through my phone but uh, I finally uh, set up my sprocket 200 printer and I don't like it at all. I like the size of the, the photos and whatnot 
but um, the quality I don't like. So I'll stick to my um, my Canon selfie, my go-to. But I kind of thought it would be uh, very convenient to have this little size uh, printer to do my mini albums and scrapbooking, but I'll stick to my selfie Canon printer. What else? Oh, and then I'm starting to do my bow mini album. It's coming out so cute. Look how cute this is. I added some dimensions. So um, for these little uh, negative spaces for the foam, I kept the foam, the foam squares and I'm using this as like I glue. I used it for my little foam dimension so I just added glue. So I made my own little foam dots out of those little negative space squares. So this is how I was planning to decorate it. Have some little pieces. Um, what else? So uh, my creative world or my crafting world design. I'm sorry, you guys. Has that little chair mini album. I did cut out a chair. <clears throat> does have like the layering pieces so you could decorate your chair and I had these little cute um, lawn fun stamps and I wanted to use these people um, these two little kids on them so you could have them like holding a bowl of popcorn um, game controllers it's a cute little stamp set so um, I wanted to make a card out of um, this chair die. So when I seen this chair die that I thought about this stamp set. <clears throat> and what else? That's it. So let's get on with the haul. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what I got in the Easter section. I did grab um, three of these sequin packs. I thought these were um, cute colors. I love the, the purple. It's my favorite. And then all the pastel minty pinks and yellows and then um i grabbed two of these these are so cute so grab two of those got um two of these um easter eggs i have an idea for these so got that and i got these little easter bunny tags i thought this was super cute And then these wood um, little daisy flowers. And then these little bunnies, flat packs. And I believe um, currently uh, they're 40% off. So that's it for Easter. Okay, the sun's finally coming out, so I had to turn off that light. So I did find those these pom-poms, which I'm excited about because I do need some in my stash. Got some purple ones. I don't even know what I'm going to do with these colored ones, but um, for 62 cents, can't go wrong with that. Because I know I've just been using like white and pink, but now I need to utilize these other colors. Oh, I grabbed two of these pinks. Orange. That. And I got the mini ones, and they were also 62 cents. These black ones. These ones. I'll figure out what to do. Um, but these look like, you know, you can make them into like faux blueberries, the way this one looks. And then some mini black ones. I found these um, photo albums for um, $3.99. This is what I was waiting for, for the scrapbook and photo albums to go on sale. So this one is the one with the 4 by 6 um, sleeves. And I did purchase these 4 by 6 um, magnets through um, Amazon recently. And this is what I was planning to do with them 
was to add the small dies, but I don't know if it will be secure or not. I'll probably have to reinforce it to make it stronger somehow, but that's what I wanted to do is add um, the little tiny dies in here and probably write where it came from and keep everything organized. So that's why um, I was acting like a little crackhead at Hobby Lobby because I had my eyes out on these um, photo albums. So I got two of those. Can't beat that, $3.99. Uh, I got this eight by five and by 11 for $3.99. So got that. And these, this is also I wanna use as um, to carry my dies. And then um, I did get a scrapbook album, 12 by 12 scrapbook album. And that is why I'm, I'm going to use that as a scrapbook album. This paper pack, I did get the craft, um, the black on craft, and this is just... Um, craft with um the clear embossing so um yeah i thought that was it's perfect to have it's 4.99 so i'm glad i got this i didn't see the the white on craft but i thought this would be cute um to make cards to have like a subtle background and have a pop of color so i got that and then i grabbed this funky cute one it looks like a quilt it's not funky but I love the quilting um, details on that. And once again, I'm gonna probably use this as to carry dies in and it's 324. So I'm super happy with my purchase because this was like the main thing that I was waiting for it to uh, reduce. And I was like keeping my eyes on like Tim Holtz stuff and none of that stuff went on sale, but grab, I'm glad I grabbed that. I don't know if I showed you these carrots, but I got these carrots too. Got this, these pom-poms. Thought that was fun. Um, I got these. Um, I do like to go on hikes, and I thought this would be cute for a little hike layout. Um, grab these. I thought these were cute. Little earrings. So I can't wait to wear these. And this was just a random buy. But I kind of figured, um, I don't know what these are called. But do you guys remember making like keychains and stuff out of these? I grabbed these so, because um, I remember making these keychains when I was younger, but I don't remember how to do them now. So I'll have to research and see how to make them. But I thought it would be good to have during the summer um, for the kids so we could um, do something with these and beads um, in the summer. Keep them busy. Okay, so that was the first time I went to Hobby Lobby. That was um, yesterday morning. Then I went to go get my hair done and then I realized that there was a, another Hobby Lobby location there and I grabbed some stuff. Um, here are the stuff that wasn't on clearance that I got, but I needed. I grabbed um, some sequins. Because I do have a lot of clay bits in my stash, but um, I love these tiny little sequins. It's perfect um, for shakers because the sequins that I do have is like about this size, but I wanted more of these tiny sizes. It's pretty orange. It's pretty blue and um, this white in there. They look iridescent. I found these really cute uh, cow print um, Ziploc bags. So those are all full price. And here are the clearance stuff that I found at the second location. I found these um, star brads. More paint markers. And then um, some diamond dots. So the only, 
I didn't grab any yellows last time, so um, this location had like every single color, and I didn't want to go too crazy, but I grabbed some of these ones. After that, I came home, and then my husband was ready to go out and spend some time with me, so he took me to Joanne's. Let me move this off to the side. So yeah, my husband took me to Joanne's because I have not found like the perfect like Easter paper. Um, like I said, I or showed you guys, I did find that plaid pastel um, uh, six by six paper pack from Michaels. But we went to Joanne's and their paper or some of their papers were fifty percent off, but not all of them. I don't know. Here's one that I found, it's from Pebbles. But it's springy with the florals and butterflies. But it could be um, summer too, it has like the little flip flops and whatnot. I found this little holographic pack. Um, another Pebbles one. As for florals, I love these little cactuses. I do have some cactus cabochons from the Happy Crafter Shop that I want to use. But I love the colors of the greens and the pinks together. And I've been eyeing this one um, online, so I'm glad I could get it on hand at Joann's. So um, with Joann's, um, there's I think only there's not that many locations here out in, in Vegas, so um, I hardly go to Joann's. Usually, my husband's the one who's always taking me to Joann's. See, this one has like little bunnies and I like the black. So that's why I picked up this one. I like the blacks with the lilac purple and um, yeah, the light yellow. And there's like a little dark purple. I love the combo. I should grab two because yeah, I want to use this little bunny paper. So that's Amy Tangerine. Um, I got these. And they're 50% off their Easter stuff. It's cute, I love the little carrot. And then um, I did grab some 12 by 12. I wish they had these 12 by 12 in a six by six. Because uh, they're super cute. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Um, it's called Color Pop. And look at all these orange, yellows, the blues. Oh, so pretty. Look at the funky patterns. And it's double sided. Oh, look at that. Saved by the bell, that's what it reminds me of. But um, yeah, super cute. Look at that funky pattern right there. Can't wait to play around with that. I just need to find the perfect, you know, die or different, uh, perfect project to play with this um, paper collection. So that was die cut with a view. These, yeah, these ones are all die cut with a view. Um, this one's called Splash, uh, Rainbow Splash, and I love rainbows. Double sided. Sorry, you guys, I think my video is getting too long. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a quick flip through. And then this fun little one, it's called Rebel, and it gives me like the old time um, tattoo vibes. You see like the old time like sailor tattoos.
Look at that cheetah print, cute. So these have some funky prints too, love that. So I thought this would be fun to have in um, my collection. Just have to find the right project for it. So um, this definitely, um, these paper packs I'll probably be hoarding for a while until I find the right project. But I think that's it, you guys. Um, what else? That's it. I'll link down below um, the dies that, um, that I showed you from my Crafting World Designs and um, Scrap Diva Designs. But yeah, don't forget to use code MELIZA10 to save money at Scrap Diva. And I'll have all those things linked down below. I'm going to continue crafting and creating. And I'll catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye.